All right, guys, good day. So um, this is one of the set of, I guess, tools or tool aids that I have been cursing that I've never had for years. And I kept saying that I'd make something and I never got around to doing it until now. Um, so those of you who are like me, where you do a lot of 3D printing or making, you know, um, Arduino projects or ESP32 projects and, and uh, combining things, you need to glue things and screw things together and all that fun stuff. Specifically, when you need to sort of clamp and glue things, I've done a lot of this where I've been in situations where, and you know, you're gonna have to use your imagination a bit here, but because uh, this is all screwed together. But imagine a situation where, and I have this happen a lot, where I'm actually doing some gluing, and I've got you know the the the, the thing partially built, and I've got a you know uh, I'm using my goop uh, to glue something together and I need to get in there and I need to clamp that and I you know that the, the item I'm clamping is inside not this top surface because that would be easy I'm like wow damn I wish I had some sort of a you know standoff of sorts where I could you know insert that standoff inside and get my clamp lined up you know get the clamping on there you know focused on the area inside that I want to you know glue down without having to worry about the, the clamp fitting and again I use a lot of micro clamps or mini clamps whatever you want to call these things but I, I run into this situation almost every time I'm doing something where I've got to sort of glue something together either CA glue or goop or whatever so I decided to finally come up with a whole bunch of different options uh, I've linked my Maker World um, uh, th these in my Maker World account uh, you can download and print them um, different types of objects, right? So, you know, in cases where um, sometimes you're gluing over top of something that protrudes and you need to compress, um, you know, the area outside of that circular thing or whatever it is, you know, I come up with these guys here that do that bigger one here. And, and another example, again, use your imagination because I'm not really gluing anything here, but imagine if I did need to sort of glue this together and clamp it, but these guys are in my way and I need to clamp this exact spot so, you know, I can sort of clamp against that so again different types of objects for different purposes um, some simple cubes you know these guys here and in all cases I actually put um, mounting holes in them so sort of part two of this is if you've got uh, an IKEA skatis I've modified a mount here and the idea here is that uh, this is actually I just use these guys. I thought, you know, I'm not going to 3D print everything. I've 3 printed many situations where I've printed the entire unit out of um, even Apache and, and this always snaps and it's like, no, I'm going to do it differently. I have these little kind of almost like Q-tips, plastic Q-tips, and this is a uh, nice flexible plastic. Uh, I thought, heck, do it this way. So I'll basically, you know, make an angle mount, mount that to the SCADIS and then, you know, I can take all my objects or all my tools, whatever the hell you want to call these things. I've got to come up with a name for them and mount those to my uh, SCADIS pegboard, which is right here, and uh, have it all readily available in front of me um, so that you don't lose them. Because that's another problem too. You might make these things and then they get lost in your, uh, if you've got a workbench like mine, they're going to get lost in the mess. So anyway, got both of these, this guy, uh, as well as these guys available, free download. If you want to make something like this, these are about 3.5 millimeters in diameter, but you could use any kind of steel rod. doesn't have to even be a perfect uh, fit. You could have a smaller 3 mil and just, uh, I've got a dab of goop in there that's drying right now. So that'll, you know, let it fit and give you a bit of an angle again so it doesn't fall off when you slide them on. There you go. Nice and easy. Enjoy.